America just built two sixth generation fighters in secret, and both will rule the sky before 2030. While China showed simple test models, the US was already flying real hidden jets. The air race is over before China even knew it began. Stay with me, it gets crazier. The F-47 has been flying in secret since 2020. That is five years before Boeing even won the job. The Navy's F-A-20 gets its winner announced any day now, and the jet will be flying for real by 2028. China's sixth gen jets won't be ready until the mid-2030s. That puts them a full 10 years behind. These jets are not drawings, not dreams, not future plans. They are built, funded, and flying right now. By the time China builds one squadron, America will have hundreds. The F-47 flies over 1,000 miles without fuel. The F-A-20 will control AI drones that fight beside it. Both see threats, old radars cannot find. This is the moment America pulled ahead for good. And if you watch until the very end, you'll learn the secret that made these jets arrive years early. The part no news channel is talking about. Two jets, two branches, one unstoppable plan. The future of air power is already here. President Trump stood in the Oval Office on March 21, 2025. He said Boeing won the job to build the F-47. The deal was worth $20 billion. This was not a test jet. It was a real sixth generation fighter, and China did not see this coming. China spent years showing off the J-36 and J-50. They thought they were in front. Then America showed the F-47, and the whole race flipped. This jet was confirmed by General David Alvin. He said the F-47 is a true sixth generation fighter. Not a sample, not a demo, a combat jet. The name F-47 honors the old P-47 Thunderbolt, the year 1947, and the 47th president. This jet will fly in service by 2029. That is less than five years away, and that speed shocked everyone. China thought they had time. They were wrong. The real shock was the list of features. The F-47 is not just strong, it is in a different class. So what makes the F-47 so scary? What power changes the whole Pacific map? The answer is simple, range, and it is insane. The F-47 can fly over 1,000 miles in one mission. The F-22 can only reach about 590 miles. That means the F-47 can fly twice as far, hit deep targets, and come back without fuel help. And that changes everything. China built its whole defense plan on distance. They placed missiles, radars, and air zones to keep the US far away. But the F-47 flies right past all of it. The F-47 can launch from Guam, Japan, or even Alaska, and it can still control the sky over Taiwan. It can fly deep into China, hit key bases, and leave before enemy jets even start their engines. This is not a small upgrade. It is a game changer. Think of it like this. It is a sniper rifle that shoots twice as far as the other side. They set up defenses for old distances. You strike from a range they cannot touch. But far range is useless if the enemy sees you. That is why the F-47 is not just long range. It is hidden and fast. How fast? What engine lets it fly supersonic without extra fuel burn? The F-47 uses special adaptive cycle engines from General Electric and Pratt & Whitney. These engines can change how they work while in the air. They can save fuel, or they can make huge power when needed. This lets the F-47 fly Mach 2 Plus without afterburners. This is speed with no weakness. Super Cruise means the jet stays supersonic while burning less fuel. It gives a lower heat trail, longer range, and no bright afterburner for enemies to see. It is quiet speed. The F-22 started Super Cruise. The F-47 takes it to the next level. These engines make more electric power than any fighter ever built. Enough to run new sensors, strong jammers, and even future lasers. China and Russia are at least 10 years behind this. Think of it like this. It is a car that can switch from hybrid mode to supercar mode in one tap. Calm when cruising, wild when fighting. No other engine works like this. But the F-47 is not strong because of speed alone. It brings backup and that backup flies by itself. What happens when one pilot controls a whole team of jets? What happens when AI drones fight beside human pilots? That answer reveals the scariest new power in air combat. Every F-47 flies with two to five AI drones beside it. These are not small toys. They are real combat aircraft like the XQ-58 Valkyrie. 
They carry weapons, jam enemy radars, and scout far ahead. Some can even sacrifice themselves to save the pilot. One pilot now controls a whole team. The F-47 does not fly alone. It leads a swarm. Enemy jets cannot tell which one is the pilot and which one is a drone. The Air Force will buy 185 F-47s, but each F-47 controls up to five drones. That means over 900 combat aircraft in the system. China has nothing close to this AI teamwork. Think of it like chess. Your enemy has the same old pieces. You have extra pieces that move by themselves. The drones are expendable. The pilot is not. If a missile locks on, a drone moves in front to take the hit. The F-47 stays safe, but drones mean nothing if the enemy can see you. What if the F-47 was so invisible no sensor could track it? The F-47 uses a new kind of stealth called Stealth Plus Plus. This name has never been used before. It is not normal radar stealth. It is multi-spectrum invisibility. It defeats radar, heat sensors, visual tracking, and even AI scanners. Old stealth hid from one thing. The F-47 hides from everything. Modern enemies use heat cameras, long wave radar, AI that detects shapes in the sky. The F-47 slips past all of them. Stealth Plus Plus uses special materials that block many radar types. It cools the jet's skin to lower the heat signal. Even its shape is built to blend into the sky. It is like being invisible to cameras, heat sensors, and people all at once. The enemy knows the jet is out there. They just cannot see it. Here is the twist. Some experts think the F-47 images shown to the public are fake on purpose. The real jet may look very different. That is psychological warfare at the highest level. But the Air Force is not alone. The Navy has its own 6th Gen fighter on the way, and the winner can be announced any day now. While the F-47 took the spotlight, the Navy was quietly building its own 6th Gen jet, the F-A-20. The fight came down to Boeing and Northrop Grumman. On October 4, 2025, Defense Secretary Pete Hegseth approved the final pick. The Navy has used Super Hornet since the 1990s. Great jets, but old for the new world. The F-A-20 is the upgrade they needed. The F-A-20 flies 25% farther than the Super Hornet. Over 1,500 nautical miles of combat reach. It is built to hit ships, air bases, and ground targets with power. And yes, it works with AI drone wingmen just like the F-47. Think of it like this. The F-47 owns the sky. The F-A-20 owns the sky and destroys everything under it. Two jets, two missions, one plan. Here comes the twist. The F-A-20 is a master of electronic warfare. It can jam, blind, and confuse enemy missiles before they even launch. Carrier groups depend on this. It keeps the whole fleet alive. But here's the real question. Why did America build two 6th Gen fighters? Not one, like the F-35 program. The Air Force needs a fighter that wins air battles and flies deep into enemy space. The Navy needs a fighter that launches from carriers, hits ships, and survives hard deck landings. Two missions. Two designs. The F-35 tried to do everything. That caused delays, problems, and huge costs. The F-47 and F-A-20 are different. Each one is built for its own job only. That is why they work. The F-47 focuses on range, speed, and air control. The F-A-20 focuses on heavy strikes, carrier strength, and electronic warfare. They share new tech, adaptive engines, stealth, AI drones, but each uses them in a different way. Think of it like this. A sports car is fast. A truck carries weight. Trying to mix both gives you something weak. Building two separate machines gives you excellence in both. Here is the twist. The F-A-20 is not a Navy copy of the F-47. It is a new fighter built from the ground up. That freedom gives both branches exactly what they need. But now the big question appears. How did America build two 6th gen jets so fast when the F-35 took decades? The Pentagon learned a secret the hard way, and it changed everything. The F-35 used many new ideas that were not tested, that almost broke the whole program. The F-47 and F-A-20 did the opposite. They built secret test jets and flew them for years all before any contract was signed. President Trump confirmed it. He said the test jets have been flying for five years. So when Boeing won, the design was already proven. No guessing, no hoping. The Air Force tested hidden prototypes as early as 2020. 
the Navy tested its F-A-20 under a program called Link Plumeria. By the final competition, the tech was ready and mature. It is like driving a car for five years before buying it. You already know what works. You already know what breaks. There are no surprises, no huge delays. Here comes the twist. This plan changed everything. They built, flew, failed, fixed, and improved the jets before production. That is why the F-47 and F-A-20 are coming so fast. But speed is useless if the jets grow old in 10 years. What if these fighters upgrade like smartphones? A new design idea makes that possible. The old F-15 and F-16 were stuck with designs from the 1970s. Changing anything took years and cost billions. The new F-47 and F-A-20 use modular systems that upgrade in weeks. That changes everything. Technology moves faster than old jets can keep up. A fighter built today can feel old in five years. The F-47 and F-A-20 were built to never fall behind. New sensors, plug them in. New weapons, drop them in. New AI for drone wingmen, upload it. The Air Force plans upgrades every few years, not every few decades. Enemy nations wait 10 years to update a jet. The F-47 upgrades in weeks. Old jets are like flip phones, stuck, slow, outdated. The F-47 and F-A-20 are like smartphones that get smarter every month. They stay ahead forever. Here comes the twist. The F-47 you see in 2029 will not be the same jet in 2035. Every upgrade makes the gap bigger. China is not just behind. China is falling back every single year. So what happens when America enters 2030 with hundreds of 6th gen fighters? And China is still testing prototypes? China's J-36 and J-50 prototypes are flying today. But real combat use will not happen until the mid-2030s. By that time, America will already have hundreds of 6th gen fighters in the sky. Years of real training. Years of real upgrades. China will still be preparing for day one. China spent decades trying to match US air power. They built the J-20. They tested new prototypes. They expanded their air force fast. But they are still far behind. By 2030, America will have 185 F-47s and over 900 AI drones flying with them. The Navy will have the F-A-20 on carriers around the world. China will still be flying test flights. It is like running a race where your rival already crossed the finish line. No matter how fast you run now, you cannot win. And here is the twist. The F-47 and F-A-20 will keep upgrading every year. Faster, smarter, stronger. China cannot catch up in 10 years. Not in 20 years. Not by 2040. Because this is not just speed. This is a strategic checkmate. And it locks in America's next era of air dominance. America just locked in air power for the next 50 years. The F-47 and F-A-20 are not dreams. They are real weapons entering service before 2030. The race is over. America already won. China thought their new prototypes made them ahead. They thought they had time to catch up. But America was flying secret jets five years before anyone knew. Real power is not about showing a design. Real power is about building, testing, and deploying before your rival even understands the plan. That is how you win without fighting. When China fields its first 6th gen squadron, America will have hundreds of F-47s and F-A-20, each one with AI drones, each one stealthy, each one unstoppable. We began with a shock, two 6th gen fighters before 2030. Now you know how it happened. Hidden tests, smart planning, a strategy China never saw coming. So when someone says America is falling behind, show them the F-47, show them the F-A-20, show them the future, because it is already here. The F-47 takes flight in 2028. The F-A-20 follows right behind. Both will rule the sky for decades. American air power is not coming soon. It is already real. You just saw how America jumped two generations ahead. Secret programs, adaptive engines, AI drone wingmen, Stealth++. Plus Plus. This is the tech that keeps America untouchable. If this changed how you see the future, hit like and subscribe. Share this with someone who needs to know what is coming. Turn on notifications. The 6th gen era has begun. Now I want to hear from you. What shocked you most? The 1,000 mile range 
The AI drones, the secret prototypes flying since 2020. Drop your answer in the comments and tell me, can China ever catch up?